Let's see be a circle of radius root 20 centimeters. Radius is root 20. Let L1 and L2 be the lines given by 2x minus y equal to 1. 2x minus y equal to 1. And x plus 2y equal to 18. And so let's think about this. 2x minus y equal to 1. We put y equal to 0, we get x is half, half comma 0. We put x equal to 0, we get y is minus 1, 0 comma minus 1. It's a line like this. This is L1. L2 is x plus 2y. So this is half comma 0 and 0 comma minus 1. x plus 2y equal to 18. When y is 0, x is 18. So the point 18 comma 0. When when sorry, when y is 0, x is 18. When x is 0, y is 9. 0 comma 9. It's a line like this. This is L2. Suppose that L1 passes through the center C and that L2 is tangent at the point of intersection of L1 and L2. So L1 passes through the center and L2 is tangent to C at the point of intersection of L1 and L2. A comma B is a center of C and so A comma B can be here and this point of intersection is there. And L2 is tangent to C at the point of intersection. And so these two lines are perpendicular. So this is a radius, this is a tangent. And so we find A comma B and then the distance from A comma B to point of intersection should be equal to the radius. Then it will be a tangent. Radius is square root of 20 centimeters. This is root 20. A point on this line passing through this point sorry, the point on this line with the center with radius 20, if you draw a circle, it it will be tan root 20, it should be tangent at this point. That's what we are looking at. Fine. First up, let's find where these two intersect. 2x minus y equal to 1, x plus 2y equal to 18. Let's multiply this by 2. 4x minus 2y is 2. If we add these two, 5x is 20 x is 4. And once you get x is 4, we can find x. We can find y. 2 into x, 2 into 4 minus y is 1. 8 minus y is 1. y is 7. This point is 4 comma 7. Fine. So, and then we want the center. Suppose Suppose L suppose that L1 passes through the center. L1 is the line 2x minus y equal to 1. This is L1. The center is somewhere here, not here. L1 passes through the center and this is a distance of root 20 from 4, 7. Wonderful. L1 is 2x minus y equal to 1. Or if we put x is equal to t, 2t minus y equal to 1 or y equals 2t minus 1. The point is t comma 2t minus 1. The other point, the point of intersection is 4 comma 7 and this distance is root 20 or square root of t minus 4 the whole square plus 2t minus 1 minus 7 the whole square equals root 20. Brilliant. This is t minus 4 the whole square plus 2t minus 8 the whole square or 4 times t minus 4 the whole square which is square root of 20 or this is t minus 4 the whole square root 5 and this is 2 root 5. Brilliant. So this is t minus 4 the whole square into root 5 which is equal to Sorry, t minus 4 times root 5 is 2 root 5. And so t minus 4 whole square or modulus of t minus 4 times root 5 is root 5. Or t minus 4 could be 2 or minus 2. t is 6 or 2. Both work. t could be 6 or t could be 2. Brilliant. So t is 6 or 2. So t could be t comma 2 t minus 1 are the point a and b t could be 6 in which case 2 t minus 1 would be 2 into 6 minus 1 12 minus 1 11 or t could be 2 
be 2 into 2 minus 1, which is 4 minus 1, 3. A plus B could be 5 or 17. 17 is a possible answer. Absolutely delightful, brilliant question. What we are doing here, trying to draw the two lines, find the point of intersection. Then we are saying on L1, we will find the general coordinates. Take the general coordinates of that point, mark the distance between that and 4, 7 to be equal to root 20 and solve for the point of intersection. You will get an A, comma B here and an A, comma B here. This does not work for possible values. This one does work for the total being 17. It's a tough question, time consuming question. From the point of view of the exam, you're probably better off skipping it.